Here's Johnny. <laughs> Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Uh, last time I did a uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon review. It was my first one, and I liked it so much. I decided I just make another bourbon today. All right, I bought three bottles today bourbon. And I'm gonna start out with Kentucky Straight Bourbon Rebel. That company is around since 1849, and uh, of course, it's based in Kentucky where they get a distillery and they make everything themselves, they don't source as far as I could find out. Uh, this particular blend is made out of corn, wheat, and malt three different things. They're, the way they do it, they not just put everything, you know, in, in one pot and do it. No, the corn get mashed separately, the wheat, and then the malt, and then they blend it together. So it's, it's a different process than some other bourbons. But hey, what is it, important is the taste, right? And I kind of like bourbon now. I had it yesterday, I liked it. So today, day, day number two, Bourbon again. Rebel. I like the name. <laughs> the color is really nice. Real cork. The color is really nice. It's a bottle in 40% proof, so 40% uh, alcohol, 80 proof. Uh, I don't think there is any coloring in. I mean, there's no age statement on here, so you really don't know how old that stuff is. But hey, like I said before, it supports our taste, all right? Let's pour us a little one. The sun is not set yet, so it's still early, but I don't have to drive anymore. So I can have a drink already. <laughs> all right, my friends. I appreciate you, all you turning back in. I appreciate the new subscription. Tell your friends about the channel. Leave a comment down below. Ask me anything you want, I will answer as much as I can, all right? Okay, let's go to the nose. Oh, sweetie, sweet, sweet, sweet. That must be a bourbon thing, the sweet smell. I really enjoyed it, I like that. Nothing offending, uh, nothing stingy or anything like that. It's really a sweet, sugary, uh, uh, um, brown sugar smell. Like when you bake, you know, with brown sugar, or you cook with brown sugar, you melt it, you mix it in, in, in into your ingredients. It's really nice. I like that. Uh, I want to taste it. Okay, my friends, this one is for you. Cheers. Oh wow! Very smooth. Heavy set sweet. Heavy set sweet. It's not even a word. Heavy set sweet. What I'm trying to tell you guys. Buttery sweet. You know what I mean? Buttery sweet. Very pleasant. Uh, no alcohol burn or anything. Just a smooth, sweet bourbon. I mean, I'm impressed. Price point for that one was um, 20 some dollars, 24, 25 dollars. So it's not expensive. They all were under 30 dollars. So I did not spend even a hundred dollars on three bottles. So it's a good, good price point. Now, the alcohol content, it says 40%, but the way it sits on your tongue and on your lips, it feels like it's 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 more than forty percent. So forty percent, eighty proof. That's what it is. This is forty six. This is forty again. So big 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 difference. Next time we're gonna try this one here. But for today we got the rebel. Uh, the color looks lighter now since it's out of the bottle. This, the reason for it is the glass is a lot thicker here. So more, I guess more light gets catched and there's more volume in there too than just a little bit in your glass. 
but if, you, if I hold it in my light, you can see how beautiful it is. That alone makes you want to drink it again. <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Uh, I said before, corn, wheat and malt. I, I taste the malt. I cannot taste the corn. I, I cannot taste the corn. But a lot of malt. Malt overpowers the other two ingredients, I assume. But hey, it's fine with me. Uh, on a price point, on a scale of 1 to 10, quality-wise, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's a pleasant drink. I give it an easy 7, you know, 7, 7.5, like that. Like I said before in my videos, I'm new to bourbon, you know. The last time I drank bourbon, I was what, 10 years old in 1970, you know. <laughs> so it's a long time ago. And usually I drink scotch, as you can see, there's all scotch here. Single malts and blended ones. So I'm new to uh, bourbon. It's a totally different uh, experience when you're trying to taste it, when you're trying to figure out what you feel, what you taste, what you smell, you know. It's a whole new world and I enjoy it, I like it, you know. So I'm gonna go from bottle to bottle and I'm gonna continue buying more bourbon, uh, different kinds, you know, because I'm new to it so I gotta do some more research. But I'm still gonna give you my honest opinion, what I feel, what I taste, what I smell, so you get an idea, so you don't go out and buy something. Let's say you buy that one, and you don't even like it. So you watch my video, then you get an idea what you get yourself into it and you don't waste $25, you know. Same with all my other scotches here, the Canadian whiskies, uh, the uh, Irish whiskies, uh, the, the bourbons here, you know. Then I, I started buying rum now too, you know. I got uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven different rums, so I'm gonna make videos about rum too. I got uh, tequila up there, up here. I, I made only one tequila video so far, but I will make more tequila videos. Cognac over here, all this top is cognac, the bottom is cognac here. I'm gonna do all of them. I did two cognac videos so far, and I got 10 bottles here. Then I got my drinks. I'm gonna do more drink videos. I did only one drink video so far, so everything takes time, you know. I can make four or five videos a day. I mean, I, I would be drunk every day, you know, if you drink four or five drinks, so. And I only can make videos when it's get dark in the evening because I gotta drive during the day, I gotta go places, and when I have one drink, like this one here now, the, my first drink, I will not drive anymore. That's my principle. One beer, one drink, uh-uh, it's done, you know. So I gotta watch what I'm doing. When I start setting up everything for the videos, I gotta be sure I don't have to drive anymore, you know. So last time, my father-in-law, he almost got a heart attack when he asked me to drive into the hospital. I said, well, I had to be already, I can't do that. You know, I don't drink and drive. That's my 100% solid principle, you know. And I had to call him an ambulance, you know, and they took him, you know. He was okay afterwards. But that, that's how I roll, you know, I don't drink and drive. So I have one drink, maybe two, you know, when I make the videos and that's it. I don't wanna, you know, do five drinks and then something happen, you know, and then, and, 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 you know, I, I'm totally wasted. So right now it's 5 p.m., you know, that's really one of the earliest drinks I ever had here, you know, usually I wait till the sun sets darker and it's cooler, you know, it's easier to make the video. But anyway, let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if you want me to review which one next time, this one or this one. If I get a comment about today, the next one I'm gonna do what the comment asked me to do. You know, I will follow your wishes if possible. Until then, I th thanks, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate everything you send, what you say in your emails you send me. And until then, I'm Dieter. This is Papa's Bar. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye, my friends. I'll be back.